Shut up. Go to bed now. Go. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. She wasn't talking to us. <laughs> yes. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. So, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. That's it, I'm done. How's the pronto? White chocolate and Bailey's. Happy Friday. Woo, hi. Um I'm currently trying to convert CDs to MP3 going like the clappers and Helen's prepping stuff. Into a chili spot and some nachos because we're now a Mexican tomorrow. Yeah. And the rest of the bolognese, we'll have it for our dinner on Sunday if they give up a bit. Now, somebody suggested, I think he's great, off the top of my head, about seeing which one of you lot and us lot can lose the most weight in January. Well, I don't think we're going to be losing much weight in January because, yeah, we do want to start back on the diet, but we've got lots and lots of chocolate biscuits and chocolates and crisps and. Christmas cake and mince pies and brandy cream and all that sort of thing that we need to and cheeses that we need to. Ah oh, well, cheeses. If I do what I think I'm doing, cheese we can eat and this stuff. I'm going to get some of this stuff for home. Some smoked mackerel because it's lovely. But I don't want to waste any of that. I don't want to. Eat it before. And then of course we've got birthdays in January. Yeah. So that's no good. Yes. Yeah, Need to lose a little bit. Well, I do anyway. As you saw in the last video, somebody said I basically have a fat chuck. Right, so for nachos, we only need a couple of really, don't we? Camera never lies, but you always make it look at a good angle. Oh, um, freezing. What time is it? It is. As opposed to me saying, what day is it? What time is it? 10 to 3 in the morning. Okay, so it's 10 to 3 in the morning. It's New Year's Day. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you for the messages that we've had on via T dot and Co and on Facebook and personally and we've actually seen some of you guys tonight. I've been DJing tonight at the Oasis. My second one. You're waffling again. Oh. Right. So. Uh, Something don't smell very good. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's him. That's Finn. That that's gotta Finn. be Finn because He's it was farting like a gun last night. Right. What's that that's oh, good, Jesus. It? You might be deaf, but you can smell that one. Hello, it's Saturday night, and I'm doing the day for a change. <laughs> And we're having Mexican. Mexicana. Until the battery ends, right? <coughs> now, we're going to give the foodie a bit of a whirl. What I've got is I've got some ribs here. I'm just going to mix up some cajun and burrito packet mixes. Yeah, and we use half of that mixture to coat these. Then apparently put them on pressure cook for, I can't remember how long, in there. Well, then when I've done that, then turn it to air crisp and crisp them off. So this should take about an hour dry than this. Helen's doing mixed with potatoes. Yeah, I don't think I've baked enough. I might have to do another couple in microwave. What? Potatoes. Yeah. Um, and then I'm making fajitas normally. <clears throat> when I do fajitas, I do my own um, marinade for the fajitas using beer and coriander and all things, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> so I'm just using a Mercadona mix. Yeah. It's nice enough. Not cheating. Authentic, Something I saw, and I've never done this before, and I never noticed it, and I don't know if Helen does it when she does the ribs, but apparently sometimes on the, on the ribs, not always, there's like a membrane on the back, and what it suggested was remove the membrane, which I've done that on a few of them. So that's then covered. Helen's almost done a mixed potato, so it's Baked potato sliced, then it's salsa and cheese, yeah? Yeah, that's it, and then you just weld it, well, bake it so it welds in the oven. But I didn't quite do enough potato sauce stuck another thing in the microwave. I usually 
bake them in the oven first, which I have them with those ones, and then let them go cold. You're making a fresh salsa? Yeah, like a cold salsa. And we put uh, onion, tomato, coriander, a bit of lime juice, and a bit of vinegar in it, I think. <coughs> What's that for? Well, I thought it'd be nice on nachos. So that's now sherry vinegar. She's put the juice of a lime in. Half, half a lime. Half a lime. I don't know what it'll be like, so I'm just making it up as I go along. That's just... <laughs> all's all over. And I'm going to put a bit, of, a bit of coriander into it. I'm going to put some coriander into this, and I'm going to put coriander into anything else. Mm. Um, Wait to see. Taste this in a minute, see if it tastes oh. like Mexico. Strange child. Oh. Smells nice, doesn't it? Coriander just whacked me in the face and tantalised my nostrils. A little taste of everything together. You've got a hell of a lot of coriander. I was going to say, I don't really need that much coriander. Mm. Good. Now, Try it. That's lovely. Alex is coming tonight, Maddie's <coughs> boyfriend. Spanish. You may have seen before we did them with the Spanish sauces a long time ago. He doesn't do spice, so whatever all. we make tonight is not going to be spicy. Not at all, which is a bit disappointing really. The chili's got no spice on it at all. Thank you. Hey, 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 fresh tasting, isn't it? <laughs> but I love coriander, that's just. But what we have said is. We can make it as spicy as we like because we've got probably over a dozen different chilli sauces we can choose from so now the fajitas <coughs> are going to be a mixture of beef, beef pork and turkey i'm going to call it perky then <laughs> beef perky and talk perky the pig <laughs> yeah. Mmm, it smells good. What can I smell? Is it the taters or is it the... I think it might Ooh. be. It's started. And then how long do you have to put it on roast for then? 15 minutes. Alright. Oh, right, okay. So, so allegedly. We don't know if this is going to be any good. You'll find out when we find out. They're either going to be... Everybody waves about them. They're either going to be really good. They don't do Mexican, they usually do with barbecue sauce, which we're not a fan of barbecue sauce. But they'll uh, either be really good or they'll be... Yeah, that's consigned to the cupboard. On the subject of chilli sauces, I'm not sure if we've got an actual problem. No, Maybe not, we... not me, you. Me? Well, you don't like so as well. But um, not including the curry paste and the curry sauces and everything else, we've got a selection. Out of all of them, that one's really nice. These two are excellent, and that one should never be underestimated. Which one, Murphy on his own? No, I don't think we've got a Murphy on our own one here, actually. Have we not? That's not right as well. No, we've got the Mary Lee one. Ah, I'll tell you what's missing. Missed one of Helen's favourites out of the uh, Blazing Skulls Hot Sauce from House of Blues. These two are from Disney. Yes. Uh, these two are from Mr Vicky's Chilies. That one's used by... A lot of chef sriracha hot chili sauce. That's the one that I'm saying shouldn't be underestimated. It's uh, quite a good one, but yeah. <clears throat> My favourites are that one and them two, I think. But all the others are quite good as well. These, believe it or not, came from um, Primark. Getting a bit steamy in here. There is the chili. What was it, bolognese based when you've added some beans? Some beans, a bit of um, turmeric, some chilli powder, but not a lot of chilli powder, some uh, uh, paprika. To give it a, a bit of a chilli flavour to it. So that's the veg there for the vegetas, and there's pork, beef and turkey. Smells all right. Let's see if we can get these out and into the pot so I can flash fry. So it said 15 minutes to air, on air crisp. I've emptied the contents out of the uh, cooking pot. Just the ribs. Alright. 
they actually look quite good. Are you happy today? Mm, yeah, I am happy, but I'm tired. <laughs> Didn't get up till gone 12 o'clock, lazy cow. <laughs> I want to sleep at three. Lazy cow. Right. No. So today we're going somewhere I've never been before. The rest of the guys are catching us up. It's over there, Toby. I can see front. I feel like you have been done. I haven't. There's the fair. There's the marina. I've been done. And I don't know what I can't remember what this is called, but we're walking down here. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit rickety. But there's, as well as the rickety wooden boards, there's a like a proper concrete path. Yeah. But this, stuff, this looks a bit more past its death. And this is the road to nowhere, basically, isn't it? Now over there, looks like there's two boats in. If my uh, eyes don't deceive me, they'll be here to get the salt, which is from the Salt Lake. If you look at one of the old videos, you'll see uh, I did a tour. I did the tourist train down to the Salt Lakes and back, which I quite enjoyed. stop for a drink on the way back walking down the pier and we're in no we're not system bolage bolage something like that anyway. so is this not nicky marina dam this bit isn't no that bit is i know that bit is yeah yeah nicky marina is that bit there and that bit down there That's a short one this weekend. Well, it has been a a short weekend. Well, it's been it's it's a bit of a nondescript weekend, isn't it? It, it is. We did have New Year's Eve, but yeah. we've got no footage from that because we didn't we take were, any. Well, I was working and we didn't take any, so. Well, I was just going to say first, Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah, Happy yeah. New Year. Let's hope that this one is better than the last two. Yes. So, so. Yeah. Hi to the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it. And thanks to all of our old subscribers. Who keep coming back? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for repeat watching. Yeah. <coughs> and remember. Come then. Like. Subscribe. Ring that bell. Bye bye. Bye.